caught by surprise today as a bigger than expected crowd the flocked to Richmond for the start of its three day air show, billed as the biggest since the bicentenary. 70 years old, and the RAAF is celebrating with an open house at Richmond Air Base. Today, 30,000 people lapped up the display of everything that opens and shuts in the aviation world. Over the next two days, the base will swallow 200,000 spectators. All are happy to endure the heat, noise and dust to see immaculately restored warbirds and witness pilots rewrite the laws of gravity. And it's a celebration which, as you can see already, is the uh, sort of thing that captures aviation and enhances the air-mindedness of the Australian people. The pilots of 300 light aircraft from overseas have swarmed in to see aircraft from a point of view usually reserved for the enemy. Just about anything that can take to the skies is on show. For some, power comes from a lawnmower. For others, it's courtesy of Messrs. Rolls and Royce. We're down from Roma in Queensland, and uh, we travel down specially to see it. And uh, it's great, really great. These days, the roulettes thrill in new propeller-driven planes, having traded in their Mackies. Over the next few days, the skies over Richmond will be cluttered with aircraft. The roads leading to the event will be just as busy. Organisers are urging people not to bring their cars and instead take advantage of the trains and buses laid on for the event. And a rare sight late this afternoon with three F-111 fighters giving a torch display. A hard act to beat, but organisers have the next two days to try.